Beloved, we live in an apostate world, a world where people reject God. They turn away from God and use all sorts of obfuscations and self-justifications for how they lead their lives. They engage in moral subjectivism without realizing or fully appreciating the implications of their moral choices and justifications. They willfully refuse to accept and appreciate that a worldview based on moral subjectivism is unsustainable and that it inevitably leads to destruction. Destruction on a scale from that of Hitler to the lost, lonely and damaged soul struggling with addiction, alcoholism, lust and the like. We need to guard our minds against these practices, against moral subjectivism, against rejecting God's word and God's character. Paul expressed fear about one thing, and this is it. But I am afraid that just as Eve was deceived by the serpent's cunning, your minds may somehow be led astray from your sincere and pure devotion to Christ. The only way to guard against apostasy is through devotion to Christ, to remain faithful to him who paid the price for your redemption from God's coming judgment. How will you do on judgment day? Will you stand in Christ or outside of Christ? My hope is that you will stand in love and devotion to Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of John, in him was life. And that life was the light of men. And it also says in 1 John, He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Stay blessed. Shabbat Shalom.